Now I can upgrade these walls with just four center block and one more. It's just a scroll wheel option. There we go. Upgrade. That's a full wall. There we go. Now I just need to craft just one third walls out of wood and put those at the bottom. Oh, I should probably put a center block. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Here we go. Another one up. This is looking really good. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, nobody breaks in. I don't think they'll be able to. Because uh, the building scheme that I have is I'm not putting a roof at the area that I'm standing at right now. So I'm going to put a roof right above me, I'm going to put a roof above there, but not here. Because this will be entering the base, this part. So we'll be all enclosed, of course. But this will be like inside of the base, kind of. So the top of this will be enterable from inside the base. So I'm not putting a roof on that yet. Get some more Cinnablox in my inventory. There we go. And nobody will be able to get in the time being. But if they do, there won't be much in here. And they won't be able to steal a pop-up, they won't be able to destroy it. Which, they'll need a sledgehammer possibly, or a chainsaw. Because so, only the owner can actually remove it. So, there's that. Pretty much as good as it's going to get at the moment. That looks quite good. I'm going to patch this gap up with a wooden floor, possibly. Probably a wooden wall would work better. <laughs> Third wall. There we go. Done. I was originally going to use a cinder block wall, but I just guess that it'd be best to save this cinder block wall for something else. More effective. But at least protect the inside because no one can really jump onto that nor can they jump onto the roof luckily enough i've tried it <laughs> tried it before i put it on the roof just in case uh server reset and i couldn't join back after it did and there we go that's this so far so i need to craft a wood third floor which is quite easy to do doesn't cost too much I'll just be using my SUV transport back and forth, save passing out. And it looks quite good. I'm going to patch that up with a wooden wall as well, wooden third wall. Because uh, I just decided to patch the front bit up, because if you destroy it, then you can just crawl underneath. Whereas if you destroy that one, you can't crawl underneath or actually aim inside effectively and then shoot in. That's quite good. It's coming along nicely. But, uh... That's going to be an issue. Might have to get that sorted, that level there, hopefully quite soon. That was just one tree. Wow. <laughs> That's ten lumber right there. Nearly, just about. And that is nearly one third wall. Probably one more tree if I get 20 wood, I'll be able to craft a one third wall, hopefully. Last time. Last time I would be able to. Hopefully this time will be the same. Uh, I don't need a supply crate. So that was really old, long time ago. We need a supply crate in your inventory to actually craft the modular building objects. So these are the best trees to chop down. They Tall ones with no pines on them, so let's get the tall pine trees, not the short ones. So that is 30. Just over 30 wood piles. It's very good. Um, probably one more tree, since that one didn't give me 19 or 20 or anything close to that. So they gave me 12. Whereas the other one gave me 19, so. But uh, it's best to actually chop down wood away from your base. So people don't know where it is. And it's quite loud, especially if you're using a chainsaw, because that automatically gives you lumber. But the chainsaw is really loud. You can hear it like 100 plus meters away. So it's effective, but it is loud. So we'll draw in players. 
if they are nearby. That should just be about it. 14, that should even it out. Fill my backpack up. Probably put this away. And just load that in, then I can put my gun back on my primary slot so I can fit more wood in my backpack. There we go, too easy. That's one, now I just need to craft one more. And we should be good to go. Got three plywood and three lumber, which it was it used to be, so. There we go. Awesome. I just build that and switch that around very slowly with the new system. <laughs> so, usually we just flip it 180 instead of doing the extra little pieces. So, let's get this in line. It's not as long as the other one, so that should be good right there. And should be good right there. There we go. Done. That's one. Now time to get the other one down. Rotate that. And just hold Alt and you can just push page up and down to actually do the larger lift of it. So it's gonna get in line. That's good there, probably up one. Yeah, that's good. Now what I can do is with the snap build, you can literally just leave it there and then you can walk away, but not to walk, you just don't want to walk away too far because it will cancel it. So I just close this and not get hit by it because it'll take me in combat if I do. I can have a look at that, and then I can grab it again, and do that. That's pretty cool. Definitely a lot helpful when you're on your own, and you don't have anyone else to guide you with the building. Let's move back a bit. That should be good there. Just need to get it a bit to the right. That should be good there. Maybe. That's good. Good enough. <laughs> it's not going to do anything, so it's just there just closing the gap, it's not actually going to provide cover because you can shoot through wood, so that's why I didn't build a whole base out of wood. And you can destroy wood a lot easier, so cinder block is the way to go to make sure it doesn't get destroyed, although these doors here, they can get destroyed quite easily. A lot easier than the cinder block. There we go, that's done. And this gap here won't even have to worry about it because you can't even see through that barely because of the grass. Very low chance of seeing through that. Let's take a quick look. That went quite well. It's just wood, so it's a lot thinner than the cinder block, so it's bound that was bound to happen. There we go, that's good. Quite nice. Let's take a look from this side. Oh dear. Yeah, you can't exactly get in. You can't see through it. That's the first part of the base. Completed. Kind of. But um, there's really no need locking this up. Although it probably is useful, but... Not necessity, because there isn't anything in there. So anyone can steal apart from the workbench. And it'll take forever to destroy that pop hole, so unless you have a chainsaw. Now I can get started on the second part, which I'll have to build wood stairs, which I will make out of wood of course, which I'll get from lumber and plywood. 
I think there was a lot of wood piles inside of one of my safes. So now I can make one wood stair out of eight lumber. Simple as that. Need to be beside a workbench to craft all of these, of course. So you can pretty much do everything but craft the actual modular buildings that you place down, so. Such as that. You just need to place it down, so. I also need a plot pole, so. That's why I can't show it yet, but. If you are going to chop down a tree next to your base, you're going to need to hatch it one tree for a bit, get eight wood or so from that wood pile, and then just hatch another tree, hatch another tree, and so on. So the tree actually doesn't fall down, but it will show these circles right here, but then they will disappear over time. So it only takes a short period of time for them to disappear, and then nobody will know that you've actually been setting up a base or preparing to build or craft anything. So they won't camp it out. Hopefully, unless they've seen you building, of course. There we go, looks good. Although, I might have a slight problem trying to walk up the stairs there. But uh, what I'll do is actually put down two of these stairs. So it'll be kind of like a dual stair, but still on the same level. And that way, I'll be able to level this with the top and still have enough room for another stair. So I'll have two stairs inside of the, each other. Should be good. If it doesn't work, then that's not good. That's how that looks. Roughly level. Probably a good size there. There we go. That looks good. And I'm going to remove that workbench, so that's where I'm going to sit the other stair. Now, finally put down this cinder block wall. There it is. This could be a bit tricky. I hope I don't fall off the stairs. There we go. So I'm pretty much just going to place it down right here so I can block off that part. So I'll have cover when I do walk up these stairs uh, to the rest of the base. There we go. That's a good height. And rotation looks good. Right, slightly to the left and then move to the right. Possibly. There we go. So it is slightly curved, but it's not going to matter too much. Too easy. And that's in line with that wall. Yep, perfect. So now I'm going to have to place the one on the outside, which actually, you know what I can do? I can just place it here and then do what I did with the garage door. I can just do that and then hopefully it doesn't uh, despawn it if I do walk up here, so it doesn't cancel the action. Sweet. This is professional building. <laughs> That's how the pros do it. 